If you are anywhere in these social media streets, you have probably seen this video trending. This woman goes on an 11 day vacation. She's married, has kids, and this is what she comes back to. The house is, it's not even just lived in, it's trashed, it's purposely done. And at this point, this is just malicious. And so this woman, and this is on a whole nother post, but she used this term. She says, partner in title only, husbandment. 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 That that's something that we should be talking about because women are pushed into these roles. Like we are, we're less than if we haven't gotten married by a certain time. Um, there are issues like we're selfish if we don't want to have kids. Yet, yet these men are able to do these things and is to force compliance or to change behaviors. This man did this to his wife, knowing that next time she decided to take a break. Next time she wanted a little me time, that this is in the back of her mind, what she might come back to. This is not just weaponized incompetence. This is punishment at the audacity that his wife needed a break. So I've been getting tagged up and down TikTok in the video and the stitches and the responses. And so that is kind of already my crowd. I already know what they're going to say. It's punishment. It's more than weaponized incompetence. It's more than that. So I was tagged also on the video on the Twitter. And a lot of the comments were still similar, especially if they came from women. But this man says, camera phones are the worst thing to happen to this generation. That is because women are actually sharing their experiences and talking amongst each other. This talking, this engaging with each other to know that you're not going crazy, that you're not alone, that this is systemic. That is so important to women, this sharing and then having other people say that that is not right, that that is abusive, that that is not being a husband, that that is not what you deserve. That is what is going to, that that's causing many of the, the shakeups in the patriarchy because women are saying, mm, I deserve better than that. I need to walk away. So sincerely, Siobhan responds with, your issue is with the camera phone and not the stuff the significant other did. Interesting. They have an issue with women talking to each other. For so long, men have been able to keep women bickering at each other, like young women versus old women, because older women know the game. Other Older women have already been there, done that. So women telling the younger women, warning the younger women, the older men were like, don't listen to them. They're just bitter. They're just angry. So Now we actually have an exchange to where the older ladies are talking to the younger ladies and the younger ladies are listening. So Dame, another man, bro got a good point though. What is recording this for social media going to do? It's probably staged for all we know. So he said he got a good point. This is for social media. What good is it going to do? What it does, and it might not be good for men. It's not good for men. But we all have to understand who our audience, um, who our audience is. I know who my audience is. When I share things, I share it with the understanding that, yes, it could be staged. All of this stuff could be staged. But where the, the exchange comes in is in the comments when women start like, yeah, that happened to me. Or, no, this is not right. Or, if you do see this, this is that. That is where the engagement comes in. The bottom response is telling these men's very logical response. It is absolutely logical because these men know that women are sharing and sharing the stories and sharing the points so that we can warn the next the next lady. Monique says, because we can expose poopy husbands like this. Absolutely. That's what we're going to do. And Chad is like telling us she married a shitty husband does nothing. She needs to send this to a divorce lawyer and file for divorce. Cool. She can do that. But this is not necessarily about her. This isn't about her. This is about the next lady. And we cannot continue to act 
like getting a husband is the end all be all anymore. We are exposing this fairy tale because until such time that the men are actively participating in the household with the chores, with raising the kids, then we're going to keep exposing this because most of us have to work. Most of us need a dual income household because the economy, whatever, women want to do things outside the house. But what has to change in the house is that men have to participate in raising the kids. And if they opt out, then this is just going to continue to lead to women wanting to be single and being okay with being single. You guys go ahead. What, what are your thoughts on this? When do you think you have kids? I'm not having kids. What you mean you're not having kids? I'm not having kids. That's what you was born here to do. No, I'm not. Why would you not want to have kids? Why would well, I? I'm asking you. Why don't I want to have kids? I don't see any benefit. For bringing, for giving somebody life? You have a kid and your life becomes about the kid. I want my life to be about me. Oh, you selfish. That's okay. Look at the confusion on this man's face because he just cannot understand why this young lady doesn't want to have kids. He's like, what you mean you don't want to have kids? It, uh, You know what? The patriarchy, the fairy tale has not just been sold to women. Men actually believe that all women want to have kids and they cannot understand it. And what their issue is, they can't weaponize children and marriage anymore because women are like, I'm good. I'm good, bro. And so, and then their little, their words, calling women, calling women selfish isn't working anymore. Saying that it's your duty is not working anymore because women are just like, okay, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. Especially the women that can see what happens when you have kids. We can see that parenting typically falls on the mom that men can opt in and out of the lives of the children. Women can see all this. We can see the husbandment. We can see the, the husbands can just walk their dog for a couple of hours. They can decide to go back in the office, even if they can work from home because they want to avoid um, home life. We see the husbands that take up hobbies that take them out of the house for hours upon hours. We see this and we're talking about it on social media. And then you have children that were born into families where they weren't wanted. This person says, as someone who was born into a family that wasn't really wanted by my own parents, good. Finally, something, somebody really thinking before they have kids. Absolutely. How terrible must it be to be born simply because your parents felt it was a duty to have a baby? So this person at the top says, men can't understand the difficulty of giving up your life. Men give up nothing when they become a father. They live their life, no responsibility. Some men, you know, obviously we don't have to say, not all men, but they, it is a lot easier because typically the caretaking parent is the mom, but they know. Um, then this person at the bottom, stop teaching men words. <laughs> God, why are they always on microphones? <laughs> Divine is having none of this. He's like, women are out here are broken. Broken simply because some women want to remain child free. <laughs> they, they really don't get it. And that's okay. They're going to learn. They're going to learn. Or they could just go after the women that actually want to have children, be active participants in their children's lives, and make a better picture for what parenthood looks like. So maybe other people want to have children. And then like Mabel says, having children is a privilege, but not all women are willing or capable of being good mothers. It's okay to not want kids. Always be honest with yourself. And this one, that circle, because men believe we're here to serve, to serve men and kids. That's because they have been brainwashed by the patriarchy just as much as women have been. But women are waking up. Women are moving differently. The men have not decided to start moving or thinking differently about this. They still think all women want to be moms. All women want to be um, 
housewives in the suburbs. No, women are different. We are not a monolith. Many of us want to pursue our careers, travel, hobbies, whatever. There are a multitude of women and what we want to do with our lives. The dudes just haven't gotten gotten it into their head. They just refuse to learn. You guys go ahead and tell me what you think about this. I was walking down the street in Greenwich Village. I overheard these guys talking. They were sitting outside at a restaurant. And one guy was like, yeah, it's great that you have a dog. Because when the baby comes, you can just take the dog on like a two-hour walk. Then he erupted with laughter. And he was like, yeah, when Sarah had the twins, they'd be like crying and stuff. I'd just be like, oh, the dog needs to go on a walk. And I would go have a beer and sit outside. I'll never forget this. I'll never forget it. 